We have some troubling news in the crowdfunding space. Uh, it looks like a lot of Comicsgate related projects are getting shadow banned by Indiegogo. Now there's been some warning signs in the past about comics on Indiegogo and whether it's safe to use the platform or not. We've had uh, the Alt Hero Q project, which was by Chuck Dixon and Vox Day, taken down after the campaign was closed. Indiegogo refused to give the money out for the campaign, which was a finished comic book and instead actually refunded the money to backers. Now, Indiegogo had to deal with a settlement uh, on that with a, a bunch of people making claims on it. And naturally, Indiegogo also banned me earlier this year for no reason. I mean, it was just a stupid false DMCA complaint by some guy who likes to harass the channel here. And now it looks like a lot of people are getting targeted by Indiegogo. I thought it was just a like mistake at first, something that was like just because of like, you know, maybe they were having a problem with their website, but it looks like it's intentional now and we're gonna get to this in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. I've been making comics in the indie sphere uh, for the last five years and it's been awesome. I'm on Kickstarter right now and this is going to launch in a couple weeks. It's my Flying Sparks. I've had five volumes of this. We knock these out like clockwork. We're like a we're like a uh, you know a, a regular comic book company. We come out with such a volume of comics. It's pretty awesome. I'm the Stan Lee of uh, indie comics, I like to call myself. The Hispanic Stan Lee. That's right. So this is uh, going to be in the description below. And you can get click to notify on launch right here. And, uh, and make sure you can keep up with the updates on that when it comes out. You can look at the beautiful art. We've got Elias Martin, who's an awesome, awesome, amazing content creator uh, doing some good work here with Metagirl. Which I really appreciate. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and supporting our independent efforts. Look, I mean, we have to deal with shadow bannings, bannings, all these sorts of things because these like liberal companies just want to mess with us uh, and gatekeep us because they want to make it harder for us to be able to fight against the mainstream industry is what it comes down to at the end of the day. And so this is what we've got going on. So the first one that was like really popping up with a problem uh, in, in terms of Indiegogo is Mike Barron's Private American. And you can see it kind of here uh, where... He had uh, this whole situation uh, with uh, let's let's uh, uh, with uh, his shadow banning. It's not showing up on searches and, and things like that when he is pulling this up in the uh, sphere. Let me see if I can make this a little little more. Uh, there we go. Um, so that uh, basically, if you if you went into the comic book search, it just doesn't show up. And I'm, I'll show you how this works in a second. On top, and then. John Malin was having the same problem with his graveyard shift. And it was reported by a uh, backer earlier today that it looks like uh, Inglorious Rex by Shane Davis, which has been made $100,000 from his direct link, maybe shadow banned along with Malin's Omega Storm. Can't bring it up and search or find it in the explore section. And so when you go to uh, comics on Indiegogo, this is the explore section. Uh, you click at the top here and then you to click your uh, deal on it. We're in comics. I'll refresh it right now. Um, the top books of the day should be coming up here, right here. Now, now of course, Shadowversity's book, Enemies of the Self, did make a ton of money today, but it only made like 16000 or something like that. Uh, Shane Davis's Inglorious Rex here made 98000 So this should be the number one spot based on the algorithm of how, how much it's made over the course of the day. It should at least be in the, the top, you know, few here. I mean, Graham Nolan's made a couple couple grand and you can see that it's not listed here whatsoever you can't find it at all you also cannot find john maylin's graveyard shift here at all you can't find mike Barron's private american at all and so i guess you can't search for it either private american uh not up here you got uh inglorious rex so you have the, the first book, but the second book is not coming up here. Now, it seems like this might be some innocuous error at first, maybe, but uh, that's not the case. So what happened is Perth Comics actually uncovered some code that's being embedded into these campaigns right here, and this is why we're making the video right now. So here it is. There's un, an unhealthy tag on some people's campaign pages. Meta name is robots, and content equals no index. So if you get tagged with this, you don't show up in the indexes for the searches, and that's exactly what's going on here. So something on these like uh, accounts got tagged 
with this, that, that this is somebody that should not come up in the searches, said they're not seen on Indiegogo for whatever reason. I don't know if it was a rogue employee. I don't know if Indiegogo had a sit-down meeting and determined that they should do this. Uh, it's very weird that this is going on right now, and this is really, really disconcerting that these companies are screwing with us uh, on our pages when we're just trying to sell comic books. But this is what we have to deal with, guys. This is the political nightmare that we are dealing with. Indiegogo is a little bit of a uh, chicken shit company. We've seen it already. Like I said, I'm banned there completely. I can't even sell my books. And, uh, like for absolutely no good reason. <laughs> and they lied to my backers at that, but that's another thing. Uh, we're working on that legally. But on top of this, like now people are just getting targeted and getting their, their pages removed so they can't be seen at all. This is big trouble. And of course, a lot of us are trying to migrate to selling things on our own websites where we control more. But honestly, uh, my guy, my friends, uh, it's difficult. Like I, I tested it with a couple of books this summer. I put together a short story collection. I put together a quick parody book and I put those on my own website for pre-order just to see how they would do. And people didn't go to my own website like they went to these websites. Like my Kickstarter crushed uh, the books that I put on my own website. So I don't think that's a viable option for a lot of people, which is very scary. But, you know, a couple people could probably get away with it if they have a big enough of a following. But there's really no great alternative right now. So Kickstarter's working pretty well for me. Um, I've not had any problems like, uh, you know, at least uh, getting banned on there uh, as a conservative so far. Uh, and I know other people did, but that was a few years ago and they've, they've had a kind of a wholesale change of their upper management of their company since then. I know that backer kit is actually toying with a new, uh, a sort of deal. I like backer kit a lot. I use them for my back end. So they've got a, um, a brand new beta crowdfunding. They don't have a lot on here, just a few games like, uh, board games and things for the moment. But what I use it for is I use it for after, uh, my campaign. I, uh, whoops, this isn't it. Backer kit. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, well, I can't. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, there's the pre-order store. There it is. Okay, uh, I use it for the pre-order store for Overmind, and this is also in the description be below. So it's like I put all my books up on here after the campaign. People can just like get my extra books. Whoops. And uh, and also if they missed Overmind, they can still get that. So I use Backerkit for that function right now, and it also has this back end that helps me manage. Uh, my postage and things like that, which is really awesome. If this ends up a viable alternative for actually crowdfunding, it might be a place to go because they've got a lot, they've got a really nice website with a, a suite of like helpful things for creators. Uh, but right now, like I said, it's like a closed beta. So it's like, you can't really get in there. I just hope that in the future, it'll be more than just these like pre-order stores, even though this is pretty nice. I can put up whatever book I want on here and, uh, and try to sell stuff. Uh, I still would prefer to have that like crowdfunding page option. Uh, which is coming soon. So that's it. That's my only thoughts for right now. Like I said, I think if you have a store, like you have to have a big enough of a following for that to be viable. Uh, I hope that backer kit really works as a, as a creative alternative, but it looks like Indiegogo is causing a big, big problem right now for a lot of creators. And uh, I hope that these creators can get this fixed. And I hope that Indiegogo is not uh, targeting people politically because that would be a crying shame, but it doesn't look good so far. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Of course, make sure to pre-order my books and support the channel. Hit that like and subscribe button and sign up for Flying Sparks. It's a lot and a lot we got going on right now. We're moving and shaking here and we'll keep reporting the news. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you being there. Have a good night.